What it means to me to be a hotel manager? Well, uh, to, it's to look after other people um, and to do it you know, passionately and do it all the time. I think, um, and I've seen today in your school, uh, a lot of students which have that passion. I think you need, it's like any other job, you need to be passionate in what you do. Um, and then as you do it, you develop yourself and you, you refine your style, you, uh, you change a few things in the way, depending on the position as well. So it's, it means to be focused on the guest and adaptable to your environment because you have different guests, you have different staff or different colleagues, uh, you work in different countries, so you constantly uh, ad uh, adapt to your environment. So I think that would be probably the most, the most important. Uh, often in our business, you know, we try to educate the guest. Well, as, as soon as we start to educate the guest, we are going to fail. Uh, the guest doesn't need education, uh, he has received one already, okay, he knows how to write, speak and think, uh, but uh, what we need is we need to be educated ourselves into the guest culture more than the other way around. So I think the, the beauty of our job and what it makes for us to be in this business is really the, the opportunity to, to change all the time. Uh, and the way we, we look at our environment, the way we do things, uh, also because technology changes as well, uh, and the way we learn and what we learn. So it's never, never a dull moment, uh, and that's the great beauty of our profession, is that it's different all the time and it changes every day. Uh, to make sure the hotel is successful. I mean, if, uh, if the hotel is not successful financially, uh, and if the guests are unhappy, uh, then it's not a good sign uh, that the hotel manager uh, is particularly good. Uh, so there are uh, challenges in these areas because obviously depending where you are, uh, depending uh, on the environment is going to be easier or harder. So again, the adaptability I was talking about is going to be important to focus on priorities and have a clear vision of what the priorities should be for that specific hotel, for those specific guests and for that specific environment, for those with these specific colleagues. So uh, I think the trait of a good manager is to adapt to that uh, environment and do his best or her best to deliver mm -hmm. uh, a bottom line uh, a profit to the owners of the hotel because it's still a business uh, taking into consideration all these elements. Uh, the, the one aspect of the, the job I like particularly is the developing of the people. Uh, I always felt very passionate about the development of young people in this business. Uh, and if you don't motivate the people who work for you, it's going to be hard uh, for them to do a good job. Uh, all the knowledge, all the skills you can learn, and you learn it in beautiful schools like, like yours, uh, with great facilities, uh, and it's essential for you to succeed. You need to know certain things, and you need to know how to do certain things uh, for you to, uh, to be able to serve the guest better, or, and to understand the business better. Uh, but at the end of the day, it, you will depend on the motivation that people have using that skill and that knowledge. And the motivation really is the interest that one individual has to work in a particular place. Not so much in that industry, mm -hmm. uh, because some people, you know, fall in hotels because that's the way it was. It was not a particular calling. It was not a personal ambition, but more by necessity uh, to, to be in this mm -hmm. business uh, and for some it's, uh, it's vocational. Uh, but either one or the other you need to make sure that the people who work for you have an interest to work for you.
uh, to work for you as the person, but to work for you as the hotel, the organization behind. So some are motivated with money, some are motivated with career development, career prospect, some are uh, uh, motivated because of the care that you, you provide as an employer. Uh, so this would be, uh, to me, the critical elements to make sure that uh, a hotel is uh, successful and that a manager is successful. They all have one thing in common, which is to look after the guest. Mm -hmm. So whether you are um, a French guest in South Africa or a South African guest in Mauritius mm -hmm. or a, an English guest in Indonesia, uh, you deal with different nationalities in different, uh, in different places. Mm -hmm. The principles of the management are always the same. You need, as I uh, indicated, uh, you need to motivate your staff, you need to focus on priorities, mm -hmm. you need to l keep an eye on the business aspect, uh, you need to be uh, uh, making sure that your knowledge and your skills are up to scratch and those of your people. Uh, so all this, when, irrespective of where you are, this will always apply. Uh, I think, as I uh, hinted early on, the, uh, the, the, the adaptability that you have in your environment mm -hmm. uh, and the ability you have to uh, adapt to the place where you are will always help you uh, to, uh, to do a good job. Uh, as I said, you're not there to uh, make a, a revolution about this business. You're here to teach some people how to do it and you need to teach them how to look after the guests based on the culture which is around you. So, um, in, you know, it's obviously very enriching uh, to be able to travel in different countries, in Asia and so on. So you, you discover different cultures, but everybody has his own way of working. So that's the interesting part and you can use, once you understand that, then you use that uh, to, uh, to you apply that knowledge into your day-to-day -day, uh, work. Well, the first thing is language, uh, English. You must, you must, I think none of us in this room, uh, English was not the first language. We all had to learn English. Mm -hmm. You must learn English. If you don't speak English correctly, you're not going to get anywhere. Uh, so that is that would be a priority to any student. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the other thing is that to be curious about the world and not to think that once you graduate uh, you, you have a, a clear understanding of everything. You don't, you just graduated, that's normal. Uh, you, I think the purpose of a, of a hotel school diploma is to give you an idea uh, a hint of what a hotel is all about. Uh, the, the, the experience will take you uh, forward and, 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 and blossom you as you go along. The most critical in our business is always the day you become a boss, you become a manager. Whether you manage four people or you manage 400 or 4,000, the experience is the same. Mm -hmm. And it's an experience which can be very critical and very stressful because we are not, as human beings, we are not naturally uh, groomed to be bosses. It requires uh, a recipe which comprises of many different elements. So uh, I always say it's better to spend time, uh, to make the time to, uh, to become a boss, to make sure that we learn well to manage others uh, once you master that, whether you manage a thousand people or ten, you have it. So my advice to your students is to focus, to observe in the different hotels where they are, in a different environment in which they work, what makes this guy or this lady a good leader and what makes this one not such a good leader. You know, to understand, uh, you know, how productive you can be as a manager and how good you are going to be as a leader for the future.